as we do here together, kind of tight in one casita, one room, and uh, almost 24 hours we sleep in the night, but from the morning and the day, and we are close by each other, and we, we uh, in the daily things, and uh, we sense each other all the time. We are like, that's how I feel, we are like sensors and feel, feel in each other uh, more um, difficult emotions and good emo or uh, joyful emotions and and uh, being that mirror and seeing those mirrors around all the time it it uh, it helps to uh, bring it home what is going on in my in in the mind and uh, to see I see more clearly the projections how quick the mind is out there and projecting my mind to uh, to the ones that are near me and uh, I know, for example, living on my own and uh, in ordinary circumstances in, in uh, life that this opportunity doesn't come so easily because we are going around the seeming problem or the, the difficult emotions and we avoid it. And here we don't want to avoid what what is coming up and to, to watch it and look at it and uh, and for that the space to to um, express as as we hold on to to express every morning in the group uh, or when it takes place in the day as well. That, that is precious to me and uh, and more and more clear clear the, the picture of, of one mind that that what is here is shared. Last night, um, some some unshared things and desires and and doubts and worries, and I hadn't just shared it with Anna and Evie, and I was just basically I came I came from somewhere else, and I was feeling. Yeah, doubtful and worried, but it just was held. It was kind of pushed down, and I come in, and um, um, they were having some Anna and I think burned and and Evie were were having some dinner, were eating, and um, and I come in, and Anna shares something with all of us. And I just have a simple question about it, but underneath that, I still had all this un unresolved, unexposed stuff, and so and Anna immediately like mirrored back um, that something was unexposed, basically that something was un yeah, and 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 by by her the just her reaction and then my interpretation, it just flushed it all out <laughs> it's like that's how it felt it was like this flush and then my response first was I came from that place that fearful place an angry place and so any reaction um, to her was at first with that charge and then um, 
I, I could see I sat down and Anna was Anna was reacting back to me and then I sat down and I could just feel all this emotion and and I had a choice or I expose this now just share it and because I can feel I'm holding on to something so let me just share and then and so I did and so I I I asked Anna can we join and and Evie as well so we just come together as a group again and I exposed I exposed every thought at that moment that was going on in my mind it just doesn't really matter what it was it just put it all out and then in that we're immediately joined again mm -hmm. so first there was a split there was you seemingly Anna and Lilo are having a disagreement or having a like a fight <laughs> kind of and just um not feeling together and mm -hmm. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. Blah, blah. <laughs> and then yeah. And immediately when you expose something relaxes, yeah. because there is willingness to, to see oneself, and, and not to judge. And then I feel relaxed. And then. Mm. Uh, yeah. yeah, it becomes yeah. inspiring. It becomes yes. like this funny thing, like, hey, this is what was going on in my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's what that's what's going on right now, and um, yeah. and then the moment it gets shared, it's like it's already gone, it's already over, mm -hmm. and even any worries or doubts, it's just okay. It's given over together to the spirit, and then I, in that I can I feel I could really pray. Okay, whatever I'm worrying about, show me, and yeah. There is like a, an openness to it, just mm. then, yeah, be shown. Mm. And yeah, and I feel also what is coming up in this intimate space, uh, or what is exposed, is the, the maybe the ongoing pattern. The, the the ways that I have been dealing with uh, certain um, beliefs. For example, for me, I I feel maybe the the deepest uh, belief or uh, fear to to be uh, <clears throat> abandoned or to be. Uh, not un misunderstood or and and I noticed that 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 fear or maybe even desperate uh, uh, desire to to uh, release or to to be able to uh, or to free that uh, I can I can see that in every almost every situation that is the underlying deep fear, and that shows itself in in different uh, reactions. Felt very grateful then when um, somehow there was guidance to really fall into this space, into the miracle of this space and the healing, and I. I appreciated very much hearing the words relax, you need do nothing and feeling connected and joined with friends and companions here and it's like when I sit in the expression session and hear Anna or Lilo or Bernd sharing. I feel connected to the one mind. It's like it could it could easily be this mind speaking.
and that just makes me feel so connected and like there's a there's a there's a joining and a union that takes place that I haven't experienced anywhere else and I'm feeling the love I'm feeling the love of that right now <laughs> and tremendous gratitude And I, I really love collaborating and joining on in the morning, like, you know, who's up for cooking and the laundry and it feels like little things, but they're not little things because it's like, you know, what, what do I feel inspired to do and what do I hear others feeling inspired to do? So it's really following that joy. And the communication over the gardening and um, pruning and letting go of the I know mind about <laughs> how to prune something. <laughs> I had a really beautiful miracle moment that I remember when I was in the kitchen and I, I can't remember the specific details of it, but I was in the kitchen and a couple of people had been cooking, preparing food, and we joined together to do these things. And somehow I was standing there with a plate of food and I, I think I'd been working or something, I'd been busy and I was eating later and I had my plate of food and I was also watching this tidy up taking place and and I kind of said, I'm, I heard myself saying, thank you for the food, I'm going to go and eat now. And then I also noticed myself grabbing a tea towel and wanting to dry the pots or help with the clean up. And then one of my mighty companions said, are you people pleasing? <laughs> but in a really supportive, like just catching that. And it was true, I, that's somehow I was really off, like this food had been beautifully plated up and prepared and that was what was being guided to, to happen. And then this people pleasing was taking place, but it's not just that it was happening here, it was being shown to me really clearly. And 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 I that was such a miracle. I remember reflecting on that for quite a while afterwards, like, Oh, thank you, thank you, like for seeing this and for showing and for pointing it out, and thank you for being here and holding my hand in this. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this one morning. Um, it was during our morning meeting, and we usually have um, uh, the lesson and then a short meditation and afterwards a sharing and somehow it felt like after the meditation it felt like no one was really starting to share anything and it's really started to feel like dragging and everyone's waiting on each other um no one's really saying anything and i could feel like oh this doesn't feel good like something is not flowing and it started to feel very uninspiring and I noticed well you gotta say something you gotta speak up to it and then yeah I did and I realized wow I've been taking on this kind of passive role very often in a group like waiting for others to say something or to plan something and yeah, more like taking myself back in a way and yeah, I, I noticed that it didn't really feel good. Like, um, and in this specific situation, it felt so good to speak about it and to say like, well, I feel like 
a little bit like walking on, on eggshells sometimes and also being around and uh, sitting at the table. I'm, I really want to feel relaxed. I want to, yeah, that we don't think about, oh, how does this look? What will the reaction be if I do this? And, and like, it started to feel very unnatural and, and very unco uncomfortable actually. So yeah, I made this prayer of I want to feel relaxed. I want to be authentic. And even if it is like I'm saying something wrong or yeah, kind of embarrassing myself, um, well, then, then be it. And yeah, that felt like a very good prayer and also other situations where I had the chance to speak up. Um, for instance, yeah, yesterday when we did some filming um, sharing about our experiences here in the group and yeah, it was my task to film. So basically we came together um, and it was a beautiful sharing and then um, the idea was to talk about the musical collaborations. So there was the suggestion that we, um, that the three uh, women play some music and then after that talk about the musical collaborations. And so that was kind of a beautiful feeling to get into the vibe of music. But then at some point they started to get into the song texts and yeah, oh, we could rewrite these lyrics and and I sat there with the camera waiting to to film actually, to film the sharings and I started to feel irritated like, well, some, something doesn't really feel right about getting into rewriting some lyrics. We're actually here to um, to film and to share about our experiences. So I could feel like, oh, there's a slight irritation. And then I waited a little bit and I could feel like, wow, there's some more coming up, like anger is building up. And that's, yeah, that's when I realized, wow, you, you gotta say something. And it's, it's, it feels off, like off topic. And we have to refocus like <clears throat> on the purpose that we came together for, for filming basically. And yeah, and these are always these situations where I have to step into something that I still not feel like super comfortable with, but I can really see the value in it. And yeah, and also the situations when I don't do it, um, that it's kind of, yeah, it feels more and more uncomfortable and yeah, so it's a very, very important thing for me. And yeah, to get out of this passive role and and really dare to be more authentic, basically. And yeah. Yeah, and what is so beautiful about when I step into this speaking up um, yeah, it is always kind of resolving something and I can feel like, wow, I'm, I'm releasing something that would eventually uh, evolve into anger and I don't want anger, like I want to feel connected and in order to have this feeling, I have to speak up to things where I feel like we're off purpose or something just doesn't feel like it's it's right or it's yeah so basically it's it's always a blessing for the whole group if anyone feels well something doesn't feel right here um and it's always a blessing for everyone if if it, this gets spoken to so i feel like yeah it's it always brings us closer if we dare to be authentic and yeah get away from from any kind of people pleasing and fear of 
misunderstanding or fear of being misunderstood or misinterpreted. Yeah, yeah, that's really, that's really a good experience. Yeah, and what I could also feel about this topic of walking on, yeah, this feeling of walking on eggshells, um, I could really find out for myself that, um, yeah, there is a fear underneath that I am, yeah, not being accepted or not lovable the way I am. So I try to give no reason for not liking me. So I, I really have this desire for being liked. And yeah, and I can feel like if, if I'm in this, and for example, sitting at the table with others, it's like, you can really feel like the shoulders get tight and you, you're basically not really able to connect in a deeper way or to to just feel relaxed and yeah I think this is still an ongoing prayer for me to yeah to always notice whenever this tightness comes in and, and just being able to yeah to to release this kind of these patterns of thinking that I need to be a certain way to be accepted and the fear of confrontation and a fear of doing something wrong is yeah it's really blocking it's it's basically blocking the joy and yeah and this prayer of wanting the joy and, and um, seeing what is in the way that was also like for me a purpose or a prayer when I came here so yeah I got to see more of these patterns and I think there's still healing that has to occur, but yeah, it feels very good to just be on it and to just to notice it more and more. And I think, yeah, there will always be these opportunities where, yeah, one can see like the deeper levels and the, yeah, it's sometimes very subtle. And I think that I am kind of, I'm genuine with being friendly and kind and but sometimes it is it is not coming from this genuine place and that's when I feel like well I have to be a certain way to be accepted and so yeah I think there's really some discernment um, that needs to happen like am I really feeling to be smiling right now or Am I really feeling to to be friendly and help yeah helping and or is it coming from a place of oh I want yeah I want some acceptance and love and please don't leave me out <laughs> kind of thing yeah I I was feeling, I was just tuning into the fun, the felt sense of fun and joy that is, that comes alive when we come together to focus on, put our mind focus in the, in the music. And it's, um, yeah, the, the words passion, joy, um, friendship, uh, meaning making, but in a different, it's rather than kind of 
ego mean mind it's like this pure mind almost you know the the there's a divination there's a uh, there's a sense of <sighs> guidance it's like I feel plugged in somehow um, <laughs> yeah, what comes to my memory now is the first uh, celebration and uh, the two of you when you were coming together and uh, just uh, playing first or singing and and uh, and then from this uh, trying and, and a little bit out of tune and and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you came together and, and it, it, I really felt that uh, it was uh, this alive moment there with you two. But, uh, it was just happening and I, f I think I felt your joy a lot also in, in the vo voice, exploring the voice. Wow, yeah, thank you. That's... I feel um, tearful right now. It's like what I notice is um, it's been a long held prayer to to let go of the ideas around can't sing, don't sing, don't don't hold a microphone, don't be in your joy as well. A lot of that. And yet, yeah, so it's here it's like that prayer's really been answered, really been met. It's, um, that's really touching. Yeah, I've been, been expressing all throughout my stay um, how much I want to play music, sing the blocks, expressing the blocks around it and and it just feels like such an answer to a prayer to yeah, collaborate on these songs and very simply and, and, and it like gives me an opportunity in a way to take the guitar and play and um and in that way, it's like I'm not like sitting down and learning how to play the guitar. It's um, in a way it is, but it's it's for this song. It's for this collaboration. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, how do I how do I do it? And and um, and suddenly I I get to get to play, and and um, and it feels incredible to sing with you guys and yeah to really sing the message some sing these words that just go so deep and just share the joy and the prayer feels like and it's such a gift mm. Mm. I feel that too, very much. Uh, expressing the voice and, and singing, it is uh, a lot connected with, uh, with inspiration and with joy. And uh, I cannot say I really feel it in here yet, but uh, every time that uh, I, I uh, uh, let go of, of resistance and let go of uh, or choosing again. Um, I feel the voice becomes stronger or the voice is, it bears me more and, and uh, but singing has, I, I as I remember, it has been a part of me since childhood. It was always singing and singing. 
like expression of life and, and natural joy and it is I feel I have forgotten it and and now it is so good to um, uh, yeah just to vibrate and and let it vibrate and sound and together <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. and even in that it's uh, what, what I sense is it's not the thing it's not the I think this this the presence that's here in in the space it's it's really not the project or the function or the the thing that we're involved in it's more the something comes along and it's like it, it just pulls you into it it's like wow this is what we're meant to be doing right now and and then it might fade it might not be followed up but I think like you said earlier it's like oh yeah it keeps coming it keeps coming mm. it keeps coming back mm. and so it is what's meant to be happening it mm. is in it is in the mind mm. so, you know it's like no you come on come on mm. collaboration come on the love's divine please forgive me now I see that